Hi, this is Dr. Kurt Wohler. This is video four of this series of videos on heavy metal testing. Let's talk about urine testing. There are a number of people like to do a baseline urine test as a way to screen for heavy metals. The problem with that is that 98 or 99 percent of the time, whatever it is, it's not a real high percentage, there just isn't anything that shows up. Okay, so the majority of the time you do a baseline test as a screening test for heavy metals, very rarely does an elevated metal marker show up. So using that test as a determining factor for heavy metal exposure or heavy metal levels in the body just doesn't cut it. Okay? What, where I do use a baseline urine test is when we're going to be implementing something called a challenge. Now many doctors will implement what's called a challenge using oral DMSA, oral DMPS, or IV DMPS or IV EDTA to try to provoke the body to release a certain amount of stored metals. Uh, and this is called a provocative challenge test uh, and in essence to try to figure out how much metal is being excreted um, at any particular time. Okay. Now, when you're doing that kind of testing, what you want to do and what I've done for years is before we do a challenge is I'll do a baseline urine first, knowing that the vast majority of times it's going to be normal. And then I'll follow up a urine test after we give the challenge dose. Let's say it was an IV or we give an oral dose of, of a chelator or a detoxifier like EDTA or DMPS for example. And we'll measure how much metal is coming out and then we'll compare the, the baseline pre-challenge test compared to the post-challenge test and that gives us an indication of metal excretion based on that particular challenge. The important thing to realize is that, that whatever comes out on that initial test um, doesn't necessarily reflect how much is in the body. Okay? It's giving an indication of what came out and certainly there, well, the proportion of that is stored in the body, but what it doesn't tell us is how much is left. It doesn't really tell us how long you need to do detoxification therapy for because the next time you do a challenge more could come out. So what it does indicate is that there is a stored level in the body that needs a provoking agent in order to get it out and that can come in many different forms. There's natural remedies, there's clay bath therapy, there's the traditional medications. so you have to many times just pick and choose which path you're going to go down. Um, but the baseline test um, comparing to the challenge test is important as a starting point of testing analysis as you start to implement different types of treatment. Now, one thing to remember uh, and recognize with respects to this testing, as I mentioned before, the pre-test, the baseline test of the majority of kids is going to be normal. The challenge test, the majority of times, will have some elevation in heavy metal when you use one of the traditional medication chelators, EDTA, DMPS, and DMSA. Very rarely will you find a significant release of heavy metals at one time trying to challenge with something else, either whether that's cilantro or chlorella or some type of supplement. Okay? They're usually just not powerful enough at any one time to cause a significant release of heavy metals at one particular time to show up on a test. It doesn't mean they can't be effective long term, but you have to watch for doing testing and trying to make a determination of whether there's heavy metals or not um, on these urine tests based on natural agents. Okay, So I will generally do a challenge test with a more traditional chelator because I know I'm going to get more bang for our buck um, and have a better starting point and then discuss with the family about what's the best way long term to implement therapy. On that note, when you're talking about monitoring tests long term for, for metal clearance. One of the things you can do, and I've done for years as well, is follow hair testing and the porphyrin test to see those markers change over time as well. So you can also use those other tests too to see that the levels of metals decrease. So again, I, re I realize it's a confusing point, but the, the urine testing is, is important as a way to monitor metal excretion over time but they're best done monitoring those when you're using the traditional chelators, DMSA, DMPS, and EDTA. And as I mentioned, very rarely will you find significant changes in urine testing um, just using the natural, the natural detoxifiers. Thanks.